Pause all around me to share with you my awesome TBR and also some recommendations. Let's begin with the recommendations as I'm so eager to share and suggest these to all of you. So beginning with Hollow Places by T. King Fisher, which is right here. I highly recommend this one for more of an atmospheric horror element read. It has a museum in here which is filled with obviously dead animals and different um, stuffed taxidermy elements in and there's also this kind of magical realism-esque thing woven in and an alternative world and it's about how our two protagonists who are very true and real to what you assume is a real human and how a actual being would react to the situation. It feels very authentic in their character nature. How they explore and delve and deal with this whole atmosphere and what they're thrown into. But yeah, it sort of plays with your mind and there's a lot of horrific, disgusting, gruesome little tidbits in here. Nothing in which made me feel sick to my stomach and nothing gory. So there's not really much to worry about with that because I'm quite sensitive to those things. However, this just had that magical realism element in was a bit unsettling to read and um it kind of did play with your mind a bit but other than that I thought that this was beautifully written and carved out and it felt so real and so realistic and just so true because of how this writing was delved into and how these characters were and it didn't feel performative um and which was really fun to read and so yeah that's why i highly recommend this one as a first off obviously these are in no particular order this isn't a reading order um but yeah this is why i recommend hollow places by t king fisher and then next to me we have lady Macbeth, in which i read recently and absolutely adored this was full of gothicness it was full of gritty atmospheric dark dingy grungy elements and it really had that feeling of just being trapped in a castle in winter um, a lot of a supernatural things going on that had female empowerment and womanhood um, in here as well and I thought it was fantastic in the way it was written. I just thought the characters were beautifully done. This retelling of Macbeth was beautifully woven and I loved the writing style too. This is so atmospheric and so worth the read and I thoroughly loved it. It gripped me from the first page. There is a little bit of politics in here and a little bit of elements in which you're not quite sure where it's gone or you don't get a resolution to but other than that I thought this is a phenomenal read and I highly recommend it. Speaking of actually um, atmospheric reads and that kind of being trapped in a castle um, is A Study in Drowning but if you want a little bit of romance then pick this one up because again it felt very similar to Lady Macbeth in terms of its um, on a remote island just like a separate entity and you're in this sort of dingy grungy grishy um area and it feels really 
gross and grotesque and I thought this was beautifully done as well. It had very much magical realism in here as well and you're trying to decipher this mystery alongside your main characters but like I say there is a hint of romance in here. Again follows with the female empowerment and has a very huge focus on literature um, and I loved that this focused so much on literature. Um, it also had academia in here which Macbeth didn't have and it also felt a bit more modern day I, I guess in which this was a retelling so completely understandable but yeah I definitely recommend these two if you're looking for that atmospheric setting to be delved into and to escape into then these two are definitely ones to pick up and then we have Fragile Animals now this one was short and sweet for me I really liked again the atmosphere not as poignant as the other two I've just recommended but still very much there um but I loved how simple this was how easy it was to get to terms with but yet how brutal and hard-hitting it was at the same time and I don't want you to feel as though that's in like a sad way or like a negative way and you'd be upset reading this I just think the themes in this were done so beautifully and so powerfully that you really felt these characters and you sympathize with them and you wanted to go along on the rides and I absolutely adored this book. I loved the characters moving in here, I loved the atmosphere, I loved how simple it was, how the story developed. I just thought it was so much fun and yeah I definitely recommend this one too. Then my final recommendation before we get on into the TBR is The Familiar. I think this is what kicked off my love again for fantasy this year. I was in a bit of a slump and ended up picking up this one and adoring it. I just fell in love with it and I think about it very often. Um, I thought it was just great. It was phenomenal. It has magic, it has lower class society and working your way up, magical realism and romance and royalty and oh it just had all of the key fantasy elements that I love in here. Um, It had that banter and that sort of, it, it wasn't forbidden romance as such as more of they weren't really wanting to get to each other but there was that pulling in desire there and there was this lowly class woman working her way up because of the skill that she had and learning her worth and learning what's trickery and what's not and what's uh, uh, falling for it and royalty and all of the political elements in there as well but it didn't feel too heavy in the fantasy it felt more magical realism esque I suppose because of the nature of the magic woven into this book and so yeah absolutely adored this one highly recommend please don't let the size defeat you if you're feeling like it's quite a big read um because it flies by the writing is so easy to get to terms with and so so like devourable for certain. Gonna move on to my TBR. Starting with big books is when the moon hatched. So I just downloaded this on Kindle Unlimited, but then I had to buy my partner a birthday present and wanted free shipping. So um I decided to pick this book up because it was on sale. Um I haven't yet read it yet, but I've been so intrigued to do so because I just feel as though it's gonna be a fantasy that I enjoy and I say that with my fingers crossed because I'm not that good with hype books because I always worry um, about hyped books that people are <laughs> recommending false reads I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know why I have this inherent fear of hyped books. Maybe it's because I'm just fearful that I'm going to be the one that's just not going to enjoy it. Um, anyway, besides the point, again, really, really interested to read this book because I just feel as though it's one of those atmospheric reads it has dragons in here when I read it it's got fae it's got royalty it's got rebellion and it's got action and adventure and these are all things I love in my fantasy and also it has romance in here so I think it is actually deemed a romanticy I'm not 100% certain so yeah has all of the themes I adore in a romanticy slash fantasy so I'm really really hoping that I will love it and the size doesn't negate me from reading it too much hence why I think I'm going to put it on my kindle and read it from there so very intrigued and very excited to get to this one to start with and then my next one is actually from Tea King Fisher in which I recommended um, Hollow Places and this is Nettle and Bone and this is the only one in my collection from Tea King Fisher that I haven't yet read. I have, I'm just looking over that, I've got, oh, What Moves the Dead in which I thought again that's a very good recommendation because I really enjoyed that one. I think it's based on The Fall of the House of Usher or something like that. 
um, I can't exactly remember, perhaps it's not, but I think it is, and that one is very good as well, that has nature um, horror woven in there, which was really interesting and really fun to read, again with the atmospheric setting, and that is a very short one if you're looking for quite a short, quick read, with people who, not, who are not what they seem, a house that's not what it seems, nature horror in there too, and like a traveller, and a somewhat unreliable protagonist, because they're just as fearful of what's going on as you, um, so yeah, that's another recommendation to add to the pile but going back to the TBR, Nestle and Bone, this is the only Tick and Fisher I have not yet read, don't really know what it's about, I picked this one up because I was just adoring Tick and Fisher's writing and again it looks very atmospheric, I think this is more fantasy than anything um, so very intrigued to read this one, find out what it's about and hopefully, hopefully I enjoy it just as much as that other works. I haven't yet scoured my shelves yet to be honest, I think there's definitely more on there that could be for the autumnal season. When I think of an autumnal book I tend to just head towards fantasy because that tends to have the cozy atmospheric settings in there, it tends to resemble the seasons in actuality and also I find when it's raining outside and so cozy to just snuggle up in with a different world, um, I just, yeah, I just love that, I think all the time in my seasonal reader brain I just do fantasy with colder months, I'm not really sure why, um, so yeah, this is the final book I have on my proposed TBR for now, and that is The Witches of Vardo, I got this when my partner gifted me a a uh, yearly long subscription to Daunt Books last Christmas and so I was receiving a book every single month for a year last year and this was one of them and I still haven't got round to this one, this is one of the only ones I haven't yet got round to and I've always been saving it, I know you shouldn't really ever save things but I've been saving it for a awesome read because I just feel as a witchy book, spooky book, fantasy book so just definitely what I want to be reading in those seasons so yes, don't really know much about it apart from it does have witches, I think it has a coven of sorts. Again, it's women rebelling back, women power, empowerment. Um, I'm intrigued, so very excited to read it and see what it's all about. Right, my friends, those are my recommendations and my little TBR of sort the upcoming autumnal season. I'm so, so very excited, like I feel as though everyone else is for this upcoming season. So I cannot wait to read these books and I hope that you enjoy the recommendations I've given today. I hope they're just as fun for you as they were for me and I'd love to know if you have any recommendations of your own to share. Of course, always, always, always love to hear recommendations of new books and finding out for new literature. So thank you ever so much for watching, cannot wait for autumnal, cozy content to commence and until next time I hope that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you have a wonderful day or night. Bye friends! Mm -hmm.